What's up buddies, welcome back, you're watching Harvard Video Order Stuff, and do you like all of this unnecessary labelling of things? Today for you I've got my review, demonstration and tutorial of Motion VFX M Callout Simple Animated Titles Pack. This was the first in the M Callouts line of plugins and it remains one of the best and most useful bundles out there, and I'm going to show you why. <laughs> As ever, links to this software and any other interesting videos I'll pop in the description below for you. Of course, this is not sponsored content, so if you do enjoy this, definitely leave me a like to let me know. And straight off the bat, here's a cheeky tip for you. You can download a free trial version, link below. But what is M Callout Simple? Well, it's a pack of unbelievably slick looking animated titles for Final Cut, which allow you to track objects with just a couple of clicks. And as I mentioned before, this is the first in the line of M Callouts plugins, and my advice is this. If you're thinking about picking up one of these packs and you're not sure which, make it this one, because stylistically it has a bit of everything. So let's start by, I'll, I'll just demo a few of my favourites. Jumping into Final Cut now, and you can see these are the 50 different styles you get with M Callouts Simple. To apply it to footage, of course, all you need to do is drag and drop onto your timeline. They will automatically animate in and out, and of course the length of your instance will determine the duration of your M callout. All I've done to begin with is just to dump four really good ones onto a black screen just to show you the kind of thing you get. As you can see, they're all really easy to work with and all look really good. As we reach the end, you can see them animating out and they're all super slick looking. Next, I'm going to show you actually applying it to some footage, and as you can see, there are lots of options, and it's just about going through them and seeing what looks appropriate for your footage. In the end, I went with M Callout 02, Callout Definition, and as before, we're just going to drag it onto the clip, and I'm going to set the duration I want. And when we highlight the M Callout, you can see this box, this is our tracking box. So wherever we place this, that's what M Callouts is going to try and track. Of course, we'll get into tracking in a bit, I'm just going to show you the basic controls for now. As you can see, there are many different options for changing colours and changing sizes of everything you can imagine on the M callout, including obviously the text. So it's entirely possible to start with a factory preset, but then you can mess around with it and have it looking completely different. I'm not going to do anything too crazy on this one, I'm just going to format the size and text of our M callout just to get it looking good. So there we go, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not going to show you how to do tracking right now, I'm going to do that next up. This was a more tricky clip to track, but don't worry, I've got some good tips coming up. And then there's the ability to track objects with M callouts, which just makes my face melt. It's definitely one of the biggest draws of this program because it's just so easy to set up and look so good. The reason it works so well is because it's powered by the Mocha engine, which is sort of the secret source behind a lot of the tracking technology in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let me show you just how easy it is. Jumping back into Final Cut, and this is the clip I've chosen, and what I want to do is to name this middle symbol. So I've chosen a really good descriptive M callout, and that's M callouts 23. As before, I'm going to drag it onto my timeline at roughly the position that I want it to start. And of course, I need to go through and do some formatting. I need to change the text, change the size, and just sort out the positioning. There we go, I'm happy with that. And now it's done, we're going to move on to tracking. And this could be tricky because a symbol is a very fast moving thing once it's been hit. So your instinct might be to drop the tracking box onto an area of high contrast, like where this HH logo is. Of course, as soon as that symbol's been hit, it makes it incredibly difficult to track because that logo moves around so much. And as you can see, it loses the track. It actually looks quite cool when we play it back. It's got that proper sort of kinetic feel that you get with symbols, but not what I'm looking for. So let's take another approach now. I'm going to move the tracking box up to the wing nut on top of the symbol. My hope is that I'm going to get a better track, but also a tiny little bit of that wobble you get with the symbol. Of course, I've sped this up, but you can see just how locked in that mocker engine is on M callouts. It followed it all the way to the end. I'm really confident this is going to look good when we play it back. So the last thing to do is just to get our positioning right. I'm just going to drag and drop the tracking box onto the side of the symbol. I'm not going to track, of course. And I love the way this looks. It's really steady and you've got that natural wobble you get from the symbol being hit. Beautiful. Now I've got a, another example of a creative way to use M callouts. I'm using this shot where it shows me filming a slider move and then it shows the slider move itself. And it goes back to me finishing off the slider move. The callout I like this time is M callouts 29 pop-up callout design. 
I'm just going to get all the text and formatting done and then we can get onto something more creative. So what I'm going to do is make this into a compound clip and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to manipulate it in three dimensions. So what I want to do is have it looking as if the callout is always from the perspective of the camera on screen, i.e. facing the camera that I'm using. Using the distort function, I'm going to change the perspective so it looks like it's facing that camera. Once that's done, I've then made another callout to put over the main slider shot and I need to do some tracking. And the first thing I notice is that it's gonna be quite tricky because there's nothing really that contrasty and obvious for the tracking box to latch onto. So in this case, the best thing to do is to expand that tracking box to encompass the entire object that you're trying to track. I'm going to use the entire front element of this lens because I know that that's gonna be a really good solid object for end callouts to lock onto. My instincts were right, just look how well this tracks it, it's absolutely locked on. All I need to do then is finish off the positioning and of course I've duplicated the end call out at the beginning and put it at the end just for continuity and I'm really happy with this, it looks kind of cool. I really like the idea of a call out moving from shot to shot. It just makes me wonder how many other ways there are to use these. M Call Out Simple and maybe even M Call Out Simple 2 are definitely the most versatile of the packs. I've been using them for years to call out features within my videos, be it products I'm reviewing or anything really that requires text on the screen. Let me show you a couple of examples. I also love using M callouts for titles, and I wonder, did you notice in my intro sequence at the beginning, I used M callouts three separate times? Here's the first. Here's the second. And the third. They're all unique, but look so good. I also wonder if you noticed that I used M callouts for the main text of the thumbnail for this video. And for the video I did for M Callout Specs, which of course I will link below for you. All you need to do is snap a fancy photo, position the callout, get rid of the line between the tracking box and the text, and then just snap a screenshot. Of course I wanted to take it a little bit further so I added a subheading and added a few different examples of M Callouts around the frame. I absolutely love doing this, it's becoming one of my favourite ways to make thumbnails. Using a similar technique, we can use M callouts to, to make amazing looking animated lower thirds. In fact, these days I've pretty much sacked off all of my other lower thirds because these look so freaking good. Let me show you how. Back in Final Cut now, and as before, we're going to drag our chosen M callout onto our timeline. And with the one we've chosen, you can see there's a line between the tracking box and the actual text itself. So the key here is to either use a callout that doesn't have that line between the tracking box and the text, so that you can drag the tracking box just below your frame and hide it. Or you can just use one that does have a line and we can remove it, and here's how. If you go into the parameters of your callout and go right to the bottom, it's usually one of the very last options. And here you can see it's called line width, and you can't drag that slider down to zero, you have to actually select it and type zero. That way it'll just disappear. Then all you need to do is drag the tracking box below your frame so that it's hidden. Make it look fancy and away you go. And there we go, another amazing use for these. The really nice thing about M callouts is that practically every single one could be used as a lower third in some way. And now you can see why I use them so frequently. They're just so versatile. There's just one quirk to a program that I would consider very polished. Nothing that would put me off buying it, of course, but from time to time you may notice that your, your position of your titles might have changed when you either render a product down or reopen one. It's an easy fix, of course. All you need to do is move your title back to where it was and try again. 
If it's still not working, just right click it and make it a compound clip and that should do it. And finally to my opinion, and I'm a huge fan of these plugins, I've already done a demo slash tutorial of the MCallOut Specs plugin and I loved it. MCallOut Simple is really classy looking, it's got a really broad range of styles, I can't knock the value for money, and coupled with its ease of use, I consider this a five star product and it's honestly worth every smallest denomination of your country's currency. Other than the simple pack featured in this video, they have MCallOuts 2, MCallOuts Specs, MCallOuts Tech, and MCallOuts High Tech. Of course, I'll link all of those below for you, but here's the thing. If I get any specific requests to review or demo any of these ones, I will do so because I listen to you and I appreciate your comments and um, I take note. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you found this helpful and interesting. Of course, I've got a large back catalogue of videos about videography on this channel, of which YouTube recommends this top one for you. And the one below, tell you what, I'll pop the M Call Out Specs video there if you want something else to watch. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.